Hi students, Miss Bird here. In this lecture, we're going to be answering the question, what is the Rosetta Stone? Well, by now you have learned that the Egyptians invented a written language known as hieroglyphics. And these hieroglyphics are pictograms where each character or piece of the language is a small picture. Now, you can imagine how much time it would take to write like this. There's lots of detail going on, different colors. It would just take a very long time. So maybe for very important texts or written language that the hieroglyphics might make sense. For instance, in the tomb of your pharaoh, you might want to use hieroglyphics. But what if you're just writing something that's kind of quick and maybe you don't need to keep forever? Like maybe a grocery list or just a few plans for part of a building that, you know, in a month's time you can throw away. Well, they then invented the demotic script, which is just a quicker form of writing. You can see these are not the pictures of hieroglyphics. Um, it's certainly not as detailed. And this was used for more everyday writing in the Egyptian world. Well, a problem here is that after a while, hieroglyphics started being used less and less, and demotics started being used more and more. I'm talking over the course of a few thousand years here. So that by the time we're in, you know, 1000 AD, nobody knows hieroglyphics anymore. We do know demotic, but nobody could understand or read hieroglyphics anymore. So that means we had all these Egyptian, you know, artifacts in the, you know, 1700s, 1800s that we couldn't really understand because we couldn't read the hieroglyphics. Well, in 1799, some French soldiers who are in Egypt find a stone. Now, these French soldiers are under the command of Napoleon Bonaparte, who is somebody we will get to much later in history, but good fact if you already know a little bit about him. And this stone they find is called the Rosetta Stone. Here's a picture of it. And it's named the Rosetta Stone because they find it in the Nile Delta in this small town called Rosetta. So that's where it gets its name. Now, what's interesting about this Rosetta Stone? Why do we care? Well, we care because it had three languages written on it. At the top, all the writing was in hieroglyphics. In the middle, it was in demonic, also known as enchorial writing, that more simplified type of writing. And at the bottom was Greek writing. Now, why is this important? It's because each of these sections, it was the same information written, but in three different languages. So why might this be important? Well, if you're thinking that maybe we can finally figure out how to read hieroglyphics, you'd be right, because scholars could read Greek, and they could read Demotic. They could use these two languages at the bottom to help them decipher the language at the top. And of course, lots and lots of scholars were interested in trying to do this, but they pored over it for years, and no one could quite crack the code and figure out how to read hieroglyphics, even with the knowledge of Demotic and Greek right there below it, until comes along Mr. Jean Champollion, and he was able to crack the code. And the way he did this is he noticed something as he was looking at the hieroglyphics. He noticed that some hieroglyphics, or a group of these hieroglyphs, would have a circle around it. And he noticed that, or he figured out, that these hieroglyphics within the circles or the ovals were only proper nouns, like the names of pharaohs or kings or important people. We call these circles with hieroglyphs inside cartouches. So with Champollion being able to figure this out, he could compare the cartouche to what he knew were the proper names in Demotic and Greek, and from that, he was able to open up the rest of hieroglyphics. This, of course, didn't happen overnight. This took him a few years. But because of this, because of his discovery and his decoding, we now can understand hieroglyphics 
And because of that, we've learned much more about the ancient Egyptians. So there you have it. Now you know what the Rosetta Stone is. See you next time.